Welcome back to our pool party. Now, as we look ahead to a summer unlike any other we've experienced, people have a lot of questions about entertaining amidst physical distancing rules, different levels of discomfort, and wanting to make sure everyone stays safe. So, LA is back now to take the questions out of isolation entertaining and make sure that we still have fun. And it's really just about listening to a few rules in your local municipality and then figuring out also what works for your family. Am I right, LA? You just hit it bang on. This is a time when first and foremost, we need to be looking to the experts, hearing what they have to say and taking their guidance in terms of what we can and should be doing in terms of entertaining. But aside from that, just because you can have a backyard get together, you also have to be really comfortable with hosting one yourself. So there's a couple things that I think are really important considerations. First of which, consider keeping your gathering small and short. Not too many people. In fact, probably just another couple over is really great. Even if it's a couple in the neighborhood, that works really well for one particular reason, and that is bathroom breaks. If you keep them short and local, then anybody who has to use a washroom can probably run home to their own and then you don't need to worry about as much sanitation inside your house. Which brings me to the point of keeping it outside. So I'm really fortunate in my backyard that I have a side entrance way so my guests can come up the side of the house right here. They don't need to come in the house. And the first thing that my guests are going to be greeted with when they come over is my little sanitation station. Now. It's really also important to have a lot of communication with your guests before they come. Let them know the entrance to use, the items to use that you would prefer, as well as giving them some cues of what they might need to bring, such as maybe bringing their own sunscreen so you can avoid sharing things like that. Maybe even bringing their own cutlery, depending on what you're planning to serve, which brings me to the food, which Tracy, I know this is your favorite part of the party. It's definitely my favorite part. <laughs> Do you want to take a peek here inside what I've created? Let's take a look. So what I've done is I've created charcuterie bento boxes. The idea with this is every single thing is prepackaged individually. So I have not cooked anything. Nothing has really had my hands on it. And anything that I did touch putting in here, I was able to sanitize first. And it's really funny. You never know what is in store until you're actually looking for it. So I found everything from little individual packed crackers. They have the little small individual hummus. They even have these little great charcuterie snacks ready to go, individual sizes. And get this, probably one of my favorite things, I found individually packed chocolate croissants that I can also tuck in for a little treat. Oh, I lied. That wasn't my favorite thing, Tracy. I think you will appreciate this. Individual cans of wine. I think any opportunity to not share things like a bottle of wine is really important. So having the individual cans, a bottle of water, and then also a garbage bag because everyone will put their garbage, all of their little packaging plastic into a bag, have a garbage can or a, a recycling bin handy. And what I've also added into the bottom of this is a little take home container inside the box because anything that's not eaten, your guests can take home with them. So let's take one of our little bento boxes here and head over to the dining table. Now, dining is gonna be a little different when you're socially isolating. First and foremost, I would recommend holding a BYOC party. Do you have any guess what that is, Tracy? Well, I'm just guessing that's a bring your own cocktail party. <laughs> You're so my girl. Bring a cocktail and also bring your own chair. Just one last thing that you as the host has to worry about sanitizing. So you can tuck this up to the table. Your guests can bring it all in. Now, I wanted to point out, I said dining was a little different because we're obviously not going to be wearing masks while we're dining. I think it's important to have some sort of social isolation. So I've created this little socially isolating screen just from some really simple elements that I picked up from my home improvement store. Uh, also items that you can order online and do curbside pickup. And that's just using some three quarter inch PVC piping and some plastic drop cloth. Now you can have conversation, you can see each other through the screen, you can enjoy your meals and you don't have to worry about you know, spreading any germs, keeping things very isolated. And again, your guests just pack everything up, take their chair, and away they go after the party. It was nice seeing you. Take the whole party with you. I love it.
this is a great idea. And what I love about the DIY screen as well is that they say when you are talking, you are really projecting and propelling. And so it's really nice to have that screen if you're going to be across the table from each other, even if you are that, exactly. uh, that two meters apart. So very cool party, LA. 